Good afternoon. So today it is 1.35 on Sunday, August 20th, 2017. So this, uh, this vlog is brought to you by a text that I got from a friend last night saying, um, why can't I find that thing I'm good at so that I can flourish? And after this, I called her so we can have like an honest, like a real, a, a good conversation. So what I told her is what I'm gonna repeat in here. And basically I told her that, like whoever you admire from what they do in life, you find, you, you start out with a hobby, right? A hobby is something that's fun for you to do. You don't really have to put much thought into it and it's a relaxing activity or it's a, yeah, it's a relaxing activity that brings you happiness. That's where the, the main root is, happiness. So you take a hobby, right? You practice it, you practice it, you do it over a long period of time and then you become really good at it. Now when you get really good at a hobby, people will tell you like, oh, don't do anything you're good at for free. How do you turn a hobby into a career? So, a hobby is something that brings you happiness and that you're, you're passionate about. You do something that you're passionate about consistently and over time it's gonna develop into a skill set, a, a, a skill set that you have that nobody else can do. So that's what separates you from everybody else. And the other thing I told you about what separates you from other people in the same industry is passion and it's energy. So have passion, have energy for a hobby. Turn that into a career. You, you turn that into a career by just doing it every single day. And then when people admire what you do, then people are gonna start paying you for that. So I told her that if you're doing stuff uh, for the instant gratification, it's not the right, that's not the, that's not where you should be starting at. Me, I'm doing these videos and forget these videos. When I started out doing, when I started out working out, it wasn't for other people to tell me that I look good. It was for me to feel good about, feel good and feel better about myself. So I think that the main objective is to feel good and to, to bring in happiness. Once you bring in happiness, anything extra after that is just extra like that's just like the cherry on on the cake like i do this so that i can look good and so i can feel i did this first so i could so i could look good it was a vain thing and then as a byproduct of looking good of, of doing a healthy habit consistently i started to feel better and then when i would cheat and have bad foods i would feel like shit. i didn't like that so now i'm telling my mind like work out eat better and you feel better cool so i'm doing that and over time you have people that admire what you do and now they want your help so now it goes from i my main thing from looking good now i feel better so now i want other people to feel the same thing because i felt weak and i felt useless and hopeless and now i feel i have like a purpose and then i'm useful and then i can help others so and then it turns to like I just want to help and I just want to teach. So when the when the goal is selfless, I think you'll attract more people in, and then you'll get that gratification over time. But I don't do this so that other people can tell me that I'm good or not or that I'm I'm happy. Like you're not gonna affect my happiness, right? So if if you don't let compliments go to your head, you won't let negativity go to your head as well too. So I can take the criticism from whoever because you don't know what it took for me to get here. And that's what I tried to tell her. And also another thing was um, she was saying like she wants someone to guide her in the right direction and tell her what she's doing is correct. And I said you got to gauge it from like the feedback. Like when I put something out, if I don't get no feedback from it, it was shit. That's it, and if I put something out and I get a lot of feedback, like a lot of positivity, then I know it was a good video, then I wanna emulate and mimic those, those, this, those style of videos or those style of content. So I'm not, I told her stop waiting for, nobody's gonna force feed or nobody's gonna help walk you at like, nobody's gonna help you figure out what you're good at. That's on you. Uh, and nobody's gonna give you permission to start, that's on you. So I think when you, treat you have to treat something that you're passionate like you have to be passionate about something like it's something i want to do every single fucking day it's like if i didn't work out and i didn't eat right i'd feel like shit and i'd look like shit and i would be unhappy and i would be back to being depressed so i'm gonna do everything in my fucking power to not go back to that dark place and that's what i told her it's like you just gotta like you gotta be obsessed over it like that person who ain't texting you back like that's how crazy you have to be about your passion Alright, if you like this video, if it helped somehow,
please like, comment, subscribe, share. Keep dreaming, keep believing, keep working, be somebody. Let's get it.